Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. Happy Diwali. Today we are going to learn a very important concept. How much do we need to reduce the tooth during tooth preparation? So based on the type of the prosthesis we are giving to the patient, you know, it can be all metal in some cases. It can be porcelain fused to metal in some cases, right? It can be metal free. So depending on the case, how much and what kind of prosthesis we are giving to our patients, we may need to reduce the tooth to a certain extent. And in this video, we will be seeing how much reduction is needed. You can find the notes of this video in the description box below. You can download that and you can stick it in your clinic or in your room for future reference. So let's get started. Let us start with the anterior tooth. So obviously for the anterior teeth, we are not going to give all metal. So the least we can give is a porcelain fused to metal crown, though it is not aesthetic enough for the anterior teeth, but it is still given in many parts of the world because it is having good amount of strength and also it is budget friendly for the patient. So as you can see in porcelain fused to metal crown, we have a metal coping and on top of it, we have a porcelain layer, okay? So because of this, we need to reduce a lot amount of tooth structure, okay? So this porcelain fused to metal crown requires a lot amount of tooth reduction compared to any other type of prosthesis. So let's see how much do we need to reduce. On the label margin, 1 to 1 1.2 mm reduction. Then on the label surface, it has to be around 1.5 to 1.8 mm. Then on the incisal edge, we need to reduce around 2 mm. On the palatal surface, we have to reduce around 1.5 mm. And on the palatal margin, if it is a metal margin, we can just go about with 0.5 mm reduction. So that's about the PFM crown. Let's move on to the next one, which is a PFM facing. So as you can see here, we just have porcelain on the facial surface, on the palatal surface, we just have a metal. So because of this, we need to do less amount of tooth preparation on the palatal surface. So the label values will be same as the PFM we had seen earlier, right? So let's see. The label margin will be 1 to 1 1.2 mm. The label surface will be around 1.5 to 1 1.8 mm. The incisal edge again 2 mm. Now the palatal surface as well as the palatal margin, these will be just 0.5 mm because we just have metal here. Then the next case we have metal free, lithium disilicate and all. Okay, here on the label margin, we need to reduce 0.8 to 1 mm. The label surface is 1.2 to 1.5 mm. Incisal edge will be same, 2 mm. Now the palatal surface will be 0.5 to 0.8 mm. And the margin, palatal margin will be 0.5 to 0.8. 8 mm okay so as we can see here metal free restorations require less amount of tooth reduction compared to the porcelain fused to metal or even the facing we'll start with the very basic all metal and this also applies to zirconia crown zirconia crown can be given in very thin sections because it has a lot amount of strength so let's see how much we need to reduce this is the buccal side, this is the lingual side or the palatal side, okay? And this is the lower posterior teeth. So in all metal or zirconia crown, the tooth reduction has to be quite less. I mean, least compared to rest of the preparations. On the buccal margin, 0.5 mm. Buccal surface, it is 0.5 to 0.8, okay? Around the functional cusp, it has to be 1.5 mm. Around the 
mm on the non functional cusp 1 mm lingual surface 0.5 to 0.8 mm and here on the lingual margin 0.5 mm so as we can see here we have reduced the tooth very less in this case okay in all metal and zirconia crown situations then the next case here we have a pfm crown as we know it requires a lot amount of tooth preparation so this is a typical pfm crown now on the buccal margin we have to reduce around 1 to 1.2 mm on the buccal surface we have to reduce around 1.5 mm the functional cusp 2 mm non functional cusp 1.5 mm the lingual or the palatal surface around 1.5 mm and the palatal margin if it is in metal obviously we just need 0.5 mm so this is about the pfm crown now pfm facing crown now here the buccal margin will be reduced to 1 to 1.2 mm the buccal surface will have around 1.5 mm reduction the functional cusp will be reduced around 1.5 mm non functional will just be reduced to 1 mm and the lingual surface will be 0.5 mm because we just have metal coming to the next situation where we have metal free crowns the buccal margin reduction just has to be around 1 mm on the buccal surface up to 1.5 mm reduction is necessary reduction around the functional cusp has to be 1.5 to 2 mm and on the non functional cusp just up to 1.5 mm on the palatal surface 1 to 1.2 mm is sufficient and on the palatal margin around 0.8 mm is sufficient so this was all about this video i hope you found it helpful let me know in the comment section below if you want me to cover what type of crown we need to give in what kind of cases their indications contraindications and so on i will see you in the next video take care alhafiz mm -hmm.